Number 42, letter A. What is the fundamental frequency of a 0.672 meter long tube open at both ends on a day when the speed of sound is 344 meters per second? All right. So there's two formulas you're going to need to know here about fundamental frequencies and tubes and whatnot. So first thing is we have uh, two types of tubes, basically a tube that is open on one end. Okay, so we'll say open, open one end. And that formula here will be that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by four times the length of the tube. Please write everything down that I'm talking about there, all right? I need you to know what these variables mean, all right? And anytime you recite the formula, I, it would be best if you kind of recite it almost verbatim there, all right? So that you remember what all the variables represent. And n represents the harmonic, okay? And uh, n here can be a value of 1, meaning the first harmonic, the third harmonic, the fifth harmonic, dot, 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 dot. If you notice, if you're dealing with a tube open at one end, we do not have a two or a four or a six or et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, the other formula here is going to be for uh, a tube open at both ends, okay? So we'll have open both ends, okay? And that formula will be that the uh, frequency of harmonic n will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by 2 times the length of the tube, okay? Uh, where n represents the first harmonic, the second harmonic, the third harmonic, and dot, 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 fourth, fifth, sixth, okay? So you have to memorize these two formulas, and you have to know uh, what, you know, situations they can be applied to. Now, just a, another quick terminology here. Again, these numbers, n represents the harmonic, okay? So you can have a first harmonic here, third, fifth harmonic, right? Here with the tube at both ends, it's the first, the second, the third harmonic, etc. You have to know that the fundamental frequency means the first harmonic. So tomato, tomato. So when you see fundamental, fundamental frequency, that means first harmonic. Okay, the other thing you will probably see is the term overtone. Okay, so how we have to look at this is the first overtone, first overtone will be the second harmonic. Overtone meaning over the fundamental frequency basically, okay? So if the first overtone is the second harmonic, guess what the second overtone will be? the third harmonic and the fourth overtone the th the excuse me and the third overtone would be the fourth harmonic right etc cetera, etc cetera. all right so I'll probably refer you guys back to this video for later uh, problems now uh, so when we're dealing here now with uh, fundamental frequency all right we're dealing with a tube open at both ends so I'm going to use this formula and I know that the fundamental frequency is the first harmonic so I know my n is 1 now all I basically have to do is just plug it in, right? So the problem is actually fairly straightforward. So the frequency of the fundamental frequency, excuse me, the fundamental frequency, which is the frequency of the first harmonic, will be equal to 1, because n is 1, multiplied by the speed of sound, and they told us it's 344, divided then by uh, 2 times now the length of the tube. And it has to be in meters, right? So we're going to have 0.672, 72. And just calculate. Fairly, fairly easy here. All right, so this is 344 divided by parenthesis 2 times 0.672. And we have about 256. 256, and that's hertz. All right, or per second, or cycles per second. There you go. That's letter A. Letter B. What is the frequency of its second harmonic? So now, all we have to do for letter B then, let me put it in a slightly different color. So it's the same formula, right? Because it's still a tube open at both ends. But now we're going to find the frequency of its second harmonic. So N is now 2. And we're going to multiply by the same thing. So it's 344. That's the velocity of sound divided by 2 times N, the length of the tube, 0.672. And what do we get? So it's basically just going to be that prior answer multiplied by 2. 
So it's about 512. All right, 512 hertz. Easy peasy. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, please, if this video helped, help us out by subscribing, hitting that like button. All right, we appreciate it very much, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.